My name is Chief Steve McLean. Steve McLean. McLean. Get a little bit closer because I want to read something to you. I love the dancing. Yeah, first time that's ever happened. Chief of Santa Paula. It's the 4th of July. It's about 6.40. And uh, we're just going to cruise to the neighborhoods. Fireworks of North 13. So some, did we just come from there? Lisa, did you want to take a look at them? What are we, what's the fireworks? Oh, they're, they're pretty good ones. Oh. So we're going we're gonna to confiscate those. We're going to confiscate those, and then I will side them against them? Yeah, that's Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we weren't doing 10-15s for them. Yeah. All right. How old's the, the person? He's 21. Yeah. He's going to take responsibility because he says it's his house. Okay. So, <sighs> I thought they were just a few rockets, but once I took a look at the mortars. The and that's everything? That's, that's what he said he had. That's everything? So I was driving eastbound on Main Street and I heard the rocket first go off so you hear like a kind of like a hissing sound. I immediately turned down 13th Street, rocket went off and there was smoke coming out from this house. They immediately knew why I was here. I said give me all those rockets and then sure enough they brought them all out. I'm concerned about especially on the hills of the Thomas Fire. I'm really concerned about a fire. That's my major concern, as well as young kids playing with firecrackers that are too powerful that could really do some damage, you know, blow off fingers, etc. So just trying to help out the team, kind of thin on resources. And if we see anybody using fireworks that are illegal, uh, we're going to either cite them, confiscate the fireworks, at the very least we're going to warn them that it's not a good idea, especially when it's kind of windy out here. Yo soy como el tigre, quiet, like this. I'm like the tiger, nice and slow, creeping up. We're going to pull up like el tigre or we're going to pull up? Oh my god, what? look at they beat us to it, man. They beat us to it, man. The chief is slipping, man. Oh, it's totally bailed on, bailed on me. I can't believe that. What'd you have? Nothing. They just, they, you know, they got the call for the herd acacia. Or they broadcast it. They came down here and checked. And they said as they're walking over here, they sounded like they heard some ground ones over here. So it was kind of like. We have a celebrity here. Brett. Kevin, Brett, and Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. Cindy. <laughs> Chief of Police went out of the trenches, so I don't even put myself in that category. But cops have heroes too. And, and this chief, my heroes are the men and women in the military. And I mean that. It is it is so it is so humbling. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate, it. appreciate it, Chief. Really nice. You said so but to be honest with you, you're our hero. You know? Wow, is that cool or what, man? I tell you, I love cool. I love, I love those guys, man. I miss my calling. The one regret, I, I mean, I, I've punched all the tickets on my career. I really have. But the one thing I don't have is I never was in the military. Man, I, I regret that. I really do. Oh man, I love them, man. I love the military. So my best friend. To see him lying in the bed, the way that he was lying in the bed was really torturous for me. To think that he had nobody. Here's a guy who served this country, and he didn't have a soul on earth visiting him in a hospital. Even the nurse told me that. Says, anybody come to see him? Nobody. Nobody. And then for my children to say, Daddy, let's go spend Christmas with Dennis. And we were there for hours on Christmas Day. This is, this is what we've confiscated tonight. <clears throat> this is just some of the illegal fireworks. This bucket is what we normally use and it's overflowing this year. It's filled with water to render them safe. And we're still picking up more fireworks as we speak, as we film this. So we're running out of space, but this is what's being set off in the city here. We tell people it's a thousand dollar fine and our concern, my personal concern, is for the children. Children playing with these things, children new, too near, getting injured, so. My name's Susan Green. 
um, reserve officer with Santa Paula, and tonight we were going out and doing firework detail, and we drove around the corner and saw an individual lighting a mortar round up in the air, so we confiscated that and cited him for the ticket, so. Uh, fine is $1,000. So these, uh, some kids were running out in the middle of the street and lighting these off and running back. We happened to be coming up uh, Santa Barbara Street and caught them in the act of lighting this one off and getting ready to light these off. And uh, uh, These look like illegal and very dangerous. But yes, we cited, we cited them for this. The, the suspect was 18 years old. Wow. Off of that one. Shoots flaming balls. You don't get this from someone. Well, it shoots flaming ball. <laughs> shoots flaming balls. Yeah. Pull this sucker up. Just, just doing the best we can to, you know, chase them down. Um, but, you know, it's they're they're all around you. They're everywhere around you. You're doing a pasta. <laughs> you know, we 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 go. In, you know, it's kind of hard to talk to one guy. You know, when you get a call at one. Uh, you know, one house, and you're talking to him, and all the neighbors are going around, and he's like, "Hey, come on, why are you, uh, you know, get?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go look. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, Stop. I know here's what's a call, you know, but yeah. it was everywhere. Awesome. Yeah, surrounded. Okay. Late. The kid, the truck came in late, so they started setting up late. Thank you.